James the Hound Dog here, and I am speaking to Mr. Larry Maluma, and this is his second record. Now, uh, Larry, the first question I'm sure the Countdown viewers really want to know is, how do you get your hair to look like that? Just wash it and uh, live it. But does that mean that I could have hair like that if I really tried? Well, your hair is a bit different, so... I know, it's, it's a, a bit, bit fine. It's a bit difficult to get it to go like this. That's true. Now, Larry, I'd, I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid to tell Australia and yourself that I'm not that familiar with uh, your music and all that sort of stuff. Maybe you could tell us your story. You're actually from Zambia, is that right? Zambia in uh, Central Africa. Right. Yeah. And you were, you were brought up there. And what year did you come over to Australia? What I did before, I came to Australia, so what did yeah, you ask me? Yeah, yeah. Um, I used to play music there. Now cameraman's then... walking into the bush here. Get on the, <laughs> get on the path, sorry. You get were, you were, yeah, what were you doing in Zambia is our question here, Larry? Yeah, I used to play, and I've been playing music for a long time now, and um, I've done a few records there, a few singles, and... Uh, right, so um, you, were, you were recording in, in Zambia? Yes. Uh, and was that with your band, Kalimba? Did you bring them across, or...? Was that a different project? Uh, it's a different project. I, I came by myself here and... Um, and you picked up the band? Decided to get a band together. And what year was that? What year did you come to Australia? 85, late 85. Now, Larry, rather than me sort of putting a, a name on it myself, how do you describe the sort of music you play? Is it reggae? Is that what it's called? Yeah, a lot of uh, people don't really know they can't identify reggae very well, or they can't uh, separate reggae to African music. So right. it's very difficult to... Because um, reggae is really, isn't that like a Jamaican thing, you know, Cedar Tosh and Bob Marley, and yet, how, how's that different from Africa, which is where you come from? Uh, it's, um, the roots of reggae, it started from um, Africa, really. It's not really reggae. There is a, a lot of reggae in it, and a bit of, um, of course, I can't, Avoid the African influence yeah. coming from Africa, and uh, there's been sort of like bits bit of, of uh, funk jazz there. and funk yeah. in as well, you know. On this particular LP, One Man's Poison, the uh, song we've seen you play on Countdown is One Man's Poison, but you sing some of the songs in African. There's sort of like in the in the two different languages. Yeah, I sing uh, a Zambian language called uh, Nyanja. Yeah, because I found it very difficult to work and, uh, out the lyrics on that one. <laughs> Uh, like which song? Oh, oh you tell. Uh, I, yeah, th this song I sing in Nyanja. <coughs> I actually mix um, a couple of languages in the song, two Zambian languages. And when you when you play that song live, do you find that people are joining in with the lyrics, or they just sit back and get into uh, the rhythms? It's a bit hard for them to sort of it is <laughs> get into into the lyrics, but they like they like the song. Every time we play, it, we get quite good reaction. There's one song which stands out. That's a song called Africa. Where well, you're making sort of like a concerned, concerted effort to make a serious political statement in that in that in that song. Uh, it's just a statement to sort of let people know that you know people really would love to be in Africa, yeah. but it's only because of uh, certain things that stop them from you know staying in Africa. You know? I see. Like well, I'd rather I'd rather be in Africa, really, but um, there's just um, a few. Probably a lot problems. of uh, yeah. problems, you know. Now, a couple of years years back on um, Rock Arena, I think a track of yours from your first LP, Confusion, was played. That was um, black and white, wasn't it? Yes. And uh, you want to tell us a little bit, little bit about that clip so that people know? Oh, yeah, it was um, done a couple of years ago, actually. And right. um, this song, Black and White, I originally recorded it in Zambia. And um, when I came here, I thought uh, it needed to be done again right so uh went in the studio with the, with the band and recorded the song again and I'm in it because I like doing what what I do. Right. Yeah. And would you like would you like to think that a song maybe off this LP could go top ten, or do you think that's a bit optimistic? I uh, wish it could. Yes. But, um, yeah. I would, I would, 
I would like it to be, you know. Well, who knows? Maybe if the Countdown Revolution viewers, all those young kids, get into some African music from Melbourne's own, Mary Maluma and Kalimba, on this record.